if you want good, healthy nutrients, the only place you're going to get them is raw food. Now, you have to consider what we are. We are bacteria. You are a half a percent human. For every one human gene, you have 150 bacterial genes. So you have to take everything the pharmaceutical and the medical industry say, no matter who it is, whether it's an alternative or what, and you have to question what they say based on the theory of the bacteria theory causing disease. Bacteria does not cause disease. E. coli 157H7 may, because that's a man-made one. The only place I've been able to collect 157H7 is from laboratories that were given it by the FDA or the CDC. And when I put a fractionating enzyme on that particular bacteria, it does not fractionate as normal bacteria fractionate in the five parts, it splices. That means it's man-made. Only man-made bacterias are spliceable. So all the, all of the, the nonsense about E. coli being a problem is all because Monsanto and Dow want your dollar for fertilizers. They tried to outlaw last year Manure as fertilizer because of the E. coli 157H7 threat. So what would be left? If we outlawed natural fertilizers, what would be left? Dow and Monsanto. 